This episode of Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment Podcast is sponsored by Magic Mind. What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here. And I want to thank you for listening to and watching Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, episode number 167. And today I am joined. By my brother, the look-alike, but younger. His arms are a little bigger. His thighs are a little tighter. The one, the only, Monster Seventy Four. What's up, you guys? And of course, as always, you love him, you hate him. The man, the myth, the legend, the individual himself, the mastermind behind the madness. Wildfire one. You know, if I was paying you, I'd give you a raise. <laughs> because that was you did it you, it's the thing every is, is week it's something different. Yeah, the thing is 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 that he every week it's something different and it's like it gets better. Like I wonder if he sits at work and just plans this shit out. Hey, shut up. Probably and the mastermind <laughs> behind the madness. I feel like I need that to be a shirt. Dude, that that would be an bitchin' shirt. Yes, it would be. Uh, so welcome, guys. Welcome to Nerd's New Sexy Entertainment, uh, the podcast. We thank you for watching. We thank you for listening. Today, uh, we were thinking about, we were wondering about what we were gonna do as far as like topics and what we we're gonna talk about. And the last few podcasts, like usually, we have a plan. Usually, we're like, eh, this is a good idea. The last few podcasts, this season's been like last minute. Like, what are we going to talk about right, right before we start the podcast? And uh, we decided this time that we're going to talk about one of my favorite. I think I think, I think, think everyone in, in here's favorite uh, kind of video game, zombie games. Zombie games in general. In general. And there's a, there's a whole list of them out there. Like... Gauging from years back, and we're, I, I'm not gonna, and I don't, I, I'm gonna say this now. I don't think we're gonna talk about like, like Call of Duty zombies because that's that's not a not a zombie, not a zombie game. game. It's it's zombies, but it's not. It's it's just an extra added bonus to a game that sucks nowadays anyway. So I agree with that, and I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> Why does that not surprise me one bit? Not surprised. And the funny thing is, is, is we started talking about this a little bit ago, and we've all come to the conclusion that we all have the same favorite zombie game. <laughs> that being the Walking Dead VR. Yeah. Yes. And there's, I think, to my knowledge at the moment, I know that there's two of them. Um, Monster was saying there might be a third one for VR two. Yeah. Uh, but for, for for the VR for the PlayStation four. Uh, there were, I know that there were two, and there was the Walking Dead Saints and Sinners, and then the Walking Dead something else. I can't remember what it was called, but that, that the second one was my favorite one because Saints and Sinners drove me crazy with the simple fact that every oh, you you'd hit a zombie three times and your weapon would break. Yes, that was like my biggest my biggest pet peeve of that game. Like, well, see, the the um, Saints and Sinners was the only one that I played, and I actually played at your house. Yeah, um, we actually streamed that, and that was so fun. It's a fun game, don't get me wrong, but the fact that uh, one, you have all these weapons that break on you unless you keep them. I don't, I can't remember. I think you can fix them. Yeah, if they don't completely break. Yeah, yeah. and then two, you you like. As the days progress, the zombies get worse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but yes, uh, we we all kind of agreed that the the Walking Dead, the VR Saints and Sinners, and the the Walking Dead VR in general uh, seems yes. to be the winner winner chicken dinner as far as our it favorite. It feels the most realistic for a gamer. Well, it also helps that yeah. you have a VR headset. Yeah. Yeah. You know who doesn't who Another doesn't one. fantasize about that? What's that monster? The second one is called. Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter Two Retribution. You're yeah. talking about for the PS for the PS5, the VR2. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I, I believe it. But the PS4 one that I'm talking about had like Michonne yeah. and and all those other characters in it. Uh, you got to play as. I know which one. The, 
Yeah. I know which one that is. And there's there's one specific scene in that game that like I had a lot of fun playing that game because in the uh one in the uh, and I have I actually have these clipped in my on my Twitch because I love them so much. One in the uh the tutorial it teaches you you can grab the zombie and like stab them. Right? So I'm as <laughs> as I'm doing the stabbing motion, you probably remember this monster. As I'm doing the stabbing motion, I'm going, I'm not crazy! I'm not crazy! <laughs> Mommy didn't love me as a kid! <laughs> so, uh, I, did, I did that and about laughed my ass off. And then, uh, and then of course, there's the, the, the another scene that I enjoyed doing where I was talking, I was doing something, and I saw Michonne, and she was, like, talking to me as a character. And Michonne doesn't, in the game, doesn't really wear too much up top. Mm. So, like, I had to go honk honk <laughs> and the chat went nuts when i did it it was funny as hell but nice. yeah that's a good game uh, another good game i know that monster can concur with this is days gone yes wait no yes and no yes very good game. Well, days... i'm thinking of daisy no days, days gone, gone. Yes. yeah okay yeah because daisy was crap yeah well daisy was all right um it just was fun all right. for like five minutes. Um, uh, but... I remember the zombies were just like these. They would come up and they would just. <laughs> Do that again. Not even not even move. Just. <laughs> <laughs> that shit's funny. Uh, like it's a shimmy like a stripper. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what they do like that. But uh, yeah, they, they, Daisy, Daisy wasn't that good it could have been better uh but days gone was an amazing game oh yes that, uh, that game does not get the praise it, it deserves oh i believe there's gonna be a I sequel will. i hope because i will buy the shit out of that game and any dlc they got yeah days gone was good another good game of course was the last of us the last of us yeah. two. That's, um and then you got the last of us remastered and the last of us remastered remastered <laughs> And the Last of Us remastered, 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 all the way from PlayStation Three yeah. to PlayStation yeah. Five, dude. Like, how many of how many times are you gonna play the same game that looks beautiful anyway? I got the Last well, of Us it, Part Two remastered. Mm -hmm. As long well, as it sells, as long as it yeah. sells, as long as it, it sells. Had, actually, the re, the second one remastered actually has more content on it. Oh, that makes sense. The the, the mm -hmm. second one, like, and that's the thing. Let's talk about the Last of Us Two real quick. I know a lot of people were pissed off. There's a lot of a lot of online personalities that were really mad about the Last of Us Two, specifically when, uh, spoiler alert, Joel dies, um, oh. and how he dies. It was a good game. I thought it was actually a good game. A lot of people were like, "Oh, the 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 other girl was too masculine and she was too do 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 do. I I didn't fucking care. I thought it was actually a really good game. Uh, the story just obliterated any of the all that other crap. Yeah, it was it was the story was great. It kept jumping from like Ellie's story to this chick's story and and it you got you got into the characters. I mean, yeah, you didn't have Joel and that was sad. But at the same time, like Joel wasn't really a good guy anyway. Yeah. You know, like yeah, he was a father Especially figure. Especially in his raider days. Yes. Yeah. You know, but but in a zombie apocalypse, who's really going to be a good guy? The bad guy. Yeah. Yeah, everyone's going to be a bad guy. Even the guys that are being good guys are going to be the bad guy, because that's how you survive. Yeah. You know. Hence the fireflies. Yeah. Follow the lights. But that's another good a good zombie game. And that's the thing. The Last of Us was a zombie game, but it was like almost if you think about it, it was one of those zombie games that like broke the zombie barrier. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was a zombie game without being zombie. And it, it also brought in a very like scary aspect because what made people zombies was a real real thing. Mm, yep. You know, uh they added they added fiction to something that was fact. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Know? Yeah, and that was that was a really cool aspect of that. I mean, if we're going to talk zombie games, we can't leave out the most iconic zombie game franchise of all time, which is the Resident Evil. Re well, yeah, Resident Evil. I I thought you were going to say something say else. Leopard Dead. That's what I thought he was going to say. <laughs> well, Resident Evil was scary until like four, and then it like became like more action. 
Left 4 Dead is good, but it's not Resident Evil good. Well, Resident it Evil sure as hell isn't six hundred dollars an hour good. Well, let me ask you guys this, because I'm not I'm more of a Silent <laughs> Hill guy. I'm not a Resident Evil guy. Can I know that the Silent first Hill? that was I was a little too young to experience that. Yeah, that's okay, but so I know that Resident Evil like one and to to like I think you said four or three were zombies. Mm-hmm. And then, so like, what the fuck is it now? Like, they're not zombies no more. They're they're, they're like, something else. They're, they are you, right now, like and, vampires, and, werewolves, and shit like that. No, no, they're they're mold. It's mold. That's it's fucking stupid. Yeah, seven and eight, it's mold. <laughs> that's fucking stupid. Oh, look out! It's a grass. <laughs> it's like a mold mixed with. Uh, well, what happened to the T virus? A variation of the T virus. Well, it's where it's where all of it like it says it like has it's like a uh, where yeah no no it's where uh, Umbrella started. It uh, it explains it in Resident Evil Eight a little uh, more vill- in Village a little in more. Village. Okay, I know I know it changed from like the T virus to something completely weird, and that's why I can't virus. Yeah, I can't. I can't. I can't stay with it because it just does it's not zombies anymore i like zombies and i get that it's it that the, the game is evolving and the the monsters are evolving with it and that's cool mm-hmm. uh and it's still a really good franchise from what i can understand don't, i just can't don't forget the last plugas the last plugas the what last plugas the resident evil 4 and 5 oh ones. well i i again the resident evil i it doesn't even feel like a zombie game anymore wow oh. No, it doesn't. It's not action. It's just it's, it's just game. demons and monsters now, and that's it. And that's cool. It's still scary. Um, but when you said what you said, monster was Left for Dead, and Left for yeah. Dead is, and I, in my opinion, what I thought you were gonna say, Grizz, is iconic. Uh, Left for Dead is one of those games that you think zombie, you think about zombies, and you think Left for Dead. Mm-hmm. Um. One of the coolest parts about Left 4 Dead were the zombies kind of evolved. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Uh, Actually, one of my first favorite uh, uh, zombie games that I played was Land of the Dead, Dead to uh, Road to Fiddler's Green. It's okay. like, you remember the Land of the Dawn of the Dead, Land of the Dead, the reiterations of the mm-hmm. movies? Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's like part, it's like in that universe. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. And it was. This was all the way on the Xbox, the first Xbox. Okay. Um, I know that there's a lot of different zombie games out there. Um, mm. But Left 4 Dead. Left 4 Dead is probably one of my favorite all-time uh, modern yeah, times. Not the, not the new one. Well, we're not... It's, that's the, the, there is no new Left 4 Dead. There's Back for Blood, but we're, we've already <laughs> talked about that. <laughs> Crap. Crap like, insane. Back for Blood... The Left 4 Dead 1 and 2 were amazing. Yes. And supposedly it was the same crew that did Back for Blood. And back the or, or a variation of them or something like that. But anyway, they when they when they promised us Back for Blood, they they almost piggybacked off of Left 4 Dead. And they're like, it's gonna be just like that. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna be better. It's gonna we're gonna do all the things we couldn't do because they did this, that, and the other thing. And we get back for blood and it's boring. It's yeah. boring. The the it I, I get you know one thing I did like was the 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 what made them zombies were worms I thought that was kind of cool mm, yeah but the zombies were just variations of of different styles of zombies from Left for Dead Left for Dead yeah. yeah the special zombies were about the same thing with with the exception of like one of the, they didn't add in one of the best fucking characters or zombie characters from Left for Dead they didn't add a variation of the witch. Mm-hmm. Which was which felt empty. The story was boring. There was no story. They were like, oh, go here. Oh, yeah. go there. Good luck. And then left, but happening? left for dead. It was all about left for dead. Was all about getting from safe house to safe house and surviving yeah. to get to like a final place. And and of course they they ended up adding more throughout the years and and because of that we got more content and more story uh, eventually leading up to Bill dying RIP Bill uh which by the way that was probably the saddest part about 
yeah. Left for Dead One was Bill. Don't worry, death. he went to Dead by Daylight. Yeah, they took him there, huh? Just made it worse for him. But yeah, Left for Dead is iconic in my opinion, <laughs> yes. and is is one of those yeah. games that definitely deserves kind of like a praise. They did a good job. Uh, Back for Blood is <laughs> sucks. Yeah, talking for somebody, I bought all the DLC for it, thinking, oh, it's gonna be good. Well, uh, we we did play it. We played it for a while. We I we played and it. beat it. Yeah, we I it for the channel. We play it. Well, you streamed it, but me and Grizz played and beat it as yeah. well. Um, and I think I think we might have played it with you a little bit, Monster, if I remember. I maybe not. Either way, but I know we played it, and it was like even even playing the 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 campaign was just boring. Like the yeah. last the last monster was kind of a pain in the ass. Yeah. Uh it was it was it was kind of stupid. If it lands on you, you're automatically dead. It was just a bad, bad game in general. Um it was based off of a good game. Mm-hmm. But they just they just shit on it, you know? Well, uh, no. there's the one that you and I have been playing recently which is project zomboid project zomboid yeah that's a good one i, th- I know we did a Very podcast good. on that but uh yeah. we can talk a little bit about it and we're trying to get monster in to join us because it's fun it's one of those games the more people the merrier uh and we did i did find out that you can build uh barricades on windows gris yeah i found that out you can do that i just haven't got to around to it on my pc yet it's a good game uh graphics wise you might not care for it monster but uh no i i've seen it. it's on my wish list i want it it's a good game it's I fun as hell got it. it's fun as hell i like i like the survival of it um grizz's character it's just an update on that because last time we talked about it grizz's character was alive and well it kind of happened the same way as last character died but a little quicker <clears throat> but it wouldn't tell me what I, that I was actually sick. Yeah, I started losing health. Yeah, had, like you were bleeding no out. Injuries at all, but yet I was dying. And so, like he, uh, his character just finally he goes. I think this is the time you went to my room, and you're like, I'm just gonna fucking die here. Just yeah. put me out of my misery. And so, like he went into my room in the, in the game in the game, and just like finally his last little bit of health went away, and he went on the ground and turned into a zombie. And I had the pleasure of beating him to death. So another, now there's good... a stack of my player bodies outside the house. Yeah, because <laughs> they because they've turned into zombies and returned. They're like, Arr! I had to kill him. It was a good game, and then and then they I finally got to the house where. Uh, Grizz got bit with his other character, and I cleared it out. So I got a little revenge on, a little revenge for him. Dead Island. Dead Island. Dead yes. Island damn good game. I just that got done serious. playing Dead Island one on stream a few a few months ago, and uh, I had a good old time with it, man. Like I forgot how much yeah. I love that game. That Dead Island two is just as good. That's I'm gonna buy it. Um. It's one of the games I'm gonna buy. I just I recently just splurged on two games for my PlayStation Five. Um, I uh, I owned it, beat it, and I have another. I beat the DLC that just came out not too long ago. I love it. It's it's. Love it. I can't wait to play it. But uh, yeah, what about uh, Dying Light? Dying Light. Love that. Love Dying the Light. One. one in well, two was all right too. Two was okay. I liked it. There's actually a really cool uh, call callback to or throwback to uh, Dead Island in it in the first part of the game, mm-hmm. where yeah. I remember playing. I was playing. I streamed it. I got the gameplay. We're gonna put that on the channel eventually. But I was streaming it, and it, it did the hoodoo you voodoo bitch in like a in like a vinyl mm-hmm. form. And I remember reading that and going, or you know, it, it, it was talking about, and the character goes, "Oh, that sounds familiar." I'm like, "You're goddamn right. That sounds familiar. <laughs> that song is a bop even to today." Who do you, you voodoo, bitch? That's probably one of the best fucking songs from a video game. Like that, that that's supposed to be like a rapper. That's supposed to be like mainstream. It's oh. fucking badass. I love that song. Like every time I played Dead Dead Island and that song came on, you can't help but start singing along with it. You know. Yeah. And in the second one, you see him. Oh, 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 that's cool. 
Drink blood like a vampire without warning. Who do you voodoo, bitch? I love that fucking song, dude. Whenever you do, hit me up. We can play together. Okay. Multiplayer, that bitch. But Dying Light, I mean, Dying Light is another good one. Dying Light, I like the yeah. first one. Dying Light had a very cool concept as far as... Um, the first one was scarier. Yeah, I'll agree with you there. It, the first one was scarier up until what uh, until up until you got so powerful you can just fucking one hit zombies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the second one is only scarier in, the, in is only scary in the quarantine zones. That's yes, it. yeah. The then, the first one was again, scary everywhere. Yeah, at nighttime and especially. Again, yeah. Yes, the volatiles are not as scary in the second one. Yeah, the first one volatiles were freaky as shit, and the story was good. Those, yes, the story is. Eh in the second one it's it's all right in the second one there's um and the first one of course uh kind of brought together a parkour system for zombie apocalypse mm -hmm. that i think that the second one kind of made mm -hmm. even better yeah yeah i do uh, say that yeah but yeah the story was kind of boring and in, in dying light too they have all this new content for it but i haven't even played it no, I after I beat Dying Light two, I was good. I was all right. I I, yeah. I bought it when it came out because I, I was excited, and uh, mm. played through it and and I liked I liked the gameplay and I didn't want to. I I kind of got bored of it towards the, yeah. halfway through it, but I made myself beat it because I was streaming it, and so right here well I'm not streaming it, but I made myself beat it. And the ending was okay. Like the the ending to Dying Light one, I remember being kind of like a disappointment. Back to like uh, Dead Island, beating that again was I forgot how fucking hard the boss was at the end. Yeah, Dead Island was uh, that boss was a shit show, but it was a fun game. And with Dead you, Island two, the damage you inflict, you can actually see it. Oh, that's cool. You could knock off their jaw, and their jaws hanging, and their that. tongues all. Oh, that's fucking yeah. great. You know, I I think if. if we do play that again we would need something to keep us focused yeah we would need something to keep us focused that's for sure and you know what would do that magic mind magic mind baby yeah. have have you uh finished your box monster oh yes and i went to go buy another box as well, oh but, beautiful you know. well you should use our code it's an amazing product we've tried it we've enjoyed it you know the best part about Magic Mind? What's that? It, there's no sugar. There's no nuts. It's vegan, keto, and paleo free uh, friendly. Which you don't see often in a no, lot of these. No, you really don't. We all got to try it. And we all got yes. our own boxes. They were nice enough to send us boxes. And we honestly, man, we, we tried it. We liked it. It's mm -hmm. good. That's why we're talking yeah. about it today. It's a great product. It works well for you. It's got some really cool... Um, some really interesting ingredients that I've I mm -hmm. I didn't know, you know, because I'm not I'm not a supplement person for the most part. Uh, I don't work out that I don't work out unless I have to. <laughs> I'm a supplement guy. Uh, but and I but I have tried stuff in the past to kind of like keep me active, keep me moving, keep me uh, getting a little older, have give me a little more uh, energy because uh, as you get older, your energy kind of dwindles. Yeah. Uh, but it, and because of those those beautiful ingredients, it works really well. I've when I was taking it, I, I had, when I after drinking it, I would get I would have a lot of energy. I felt like I had uh, and as they call it, the anti procrastination drink. Yeah. I felt like I wanted to get things done. So so here here's the thing, right? So when we we, we obviously had uh, Magic Mind as as a sponsor for a little while now. Mm -hmm. We first started this. We were looking at the ingredients, and you know we thought. And it's a little interesting because there was one ingredient in particular that caught our attention. Um, and so we, we did some digging and, you know, it's, it's poetic justice. Especially with the podcast topic. <laughs> today's podcast topic is zombies because one of the main ingredients within Magic Mind is cordyceps mushrooms. Yep. Not not the kind that's going to make you start clicking. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's the good kind. <laughs> trust me if trust me if it was we'd be clicking by now. Oh, like yeah, we would have been oh, clicking yeah. a while ago. We uh but, it's you know, it, it's it's great to help with your strengths. 
yeah with your, immune, with your immune system inflammation monster knows that better than anybody yeah help me uh, with my knee mm-hmm. yeah. it supports higher energy levels and physical endurance it's and, interesting how something like that you know that can have such kind of like a bum rap because of television and video games but the uh the actual the actual ingredient itself is very helpful it's very it's in a lot of stuff yeah it's in a lot it's of stuff a lot of stuff so, uh, so it, it's kind of, we thought it was really cool that cordyceps was in there. Uh, yes. but it's good. It's good for you. It's not, it's it, not going it, to make you really click. Is. It's not going to make it you turn is. into a, to a zombie. And then of course there's lion's mane mushroom. Which are delicious. Yes. I, I, I love mushrooms in general. Like I'll eat yeah, mushrooms all day long. Too. There's a lot of matcha. Like I like I like to say, there's yeah. a lot of matcha in this drink. Matcha. And matcha is basically uh, it's caffeine. It takes longer to release and it helps reduce stress. And that's any anything that helps reduce stress is good for me. Trust me. And you can ask these two guys. I'm a big history guy. When I did some research on the ashwagandha, which is actually a uh, an Indian ginger, um, it's been used medicinally for eight thousand years. That's freaking cool. That that's about as history as it gets, right there, folks. Yeah, eight thousand years was a long time ago, and it helps reduce stress and anxiety. And from three individuals who are easily stressed, mm-hmm. and uh, at least one of them that is always anxious, very anxious. Um, it it works wonders. Oh yeah, yeah, and it it's that's all cool. natural. The ingredients are all natural, which is freaking awesome, right? Those of you listening, you don't have to take our word for it. You really don't. But someone that you should listen to is Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Which he endorses Rogan, this. He does. He does. Uh, the Joe Rogan Experience, his podcast, you know, one of the biggest podcasts in the world. He endorses it. He thinks it's amazing. Um, for those of you that, you know, like drama, the Kardashians like it. <laughs> they endorse it. <laughs> like drama. I don't know. There's anyone here that has a bit, probably a better story. I, I, cause I've talked about, it. I know Grizz has talked about it. He's, he's taken it. He took it on one of the busiest days of the year for his work. I've, I've taken it when I was just tired at my job. Like I said, I'm getting older. It's, it's harder to kind of focus on stuff and, and stay, stay where I need to be, especially because I personally, uh, an insomniac, I don't sleep. But the one, the one that out of the three of us here, I know there's one person that probably uh, can tell us the most is that's Monster. He's, you know, the so the simple fact that he has had to get leg surgeries. Well, when I when I first started taking it, I was skeptical. You know, I I've been living with knee uh, pain for like since 2017. Yeah, so you ended I, up you ended up I, falling I, through a roof. Yeah. Yeah. And I've had, Three surgeries, major surgeries on my right knee. Uh, I've uh, like swelling all all throughout, never went away. Well, it went it would go away and then come back with the with the vengeance. Yeah. And then when I started taking that, I noticed like maybe after the fourth or fifth one that my my swelling in my knee drastically reduced and. It, I wasn't at this point. I wasn't taking like any Tylenol or Advils, nothing like that. So I knew, I knew that that nothing else was was causing it to not swell up. So, but ever since, ever since, like I, I started doing it, I would take it just to, just to not have the my knee swell up. That's yeah. that's awesome. Thank and, you, Magic Mind. Thank you, Magic Mind, for that. And like I said, it, it, a lot of the ingredients. Are there to calm down like pain and stuff, but it actually helps with that. And and on top of that, I mean, it's it's made to keep you focused. It's made to keep you on the ball. It's made to keep you get from point A to point B without issue. Uh, the most beautiful part about it, in my opinion, is that it's not like any other energy drink per se, to the point where you don't crash. You don't. Yeah, there's no crash to it at all. You don't stay up all night, that. and you fall asleep. When you do fall asleep, you fall asleep naturally. It's yes. comfortable, and that's probably wow. one of the best parts about it. Oh, so yeah. if if you guys have problems or issues with concentrating while you're at work, or playing video games, or editing videos, or you know, oh yeah, designing websites, whatever you you're doing, Magic Mind can help help you lose your stress, lose your anxiety, 
as a content oh, yeah. creator, it's helped, it's helped me quite a bit. Like I do a lot of editing. I do a lot of, you know, a lot of stuff mm. and I'll take that. And then I'll just, I'll just, I'll blink and I'll be done with what I'm doing. Yeah. If you guys want to check it out, you can go to this link and that is www.magicmind.com slash NIT NSE. And you get up to 56% off your subscription for the next 10 days with our code NITNSE20. If I said it too fast, you can read it down below. And the code will be valid forever as a 20% off for both one-time purchases and subscriptions. In the first 10 days, it's up to 56% off if applied to your subscription. It stacks with a subscription discount from the website for up to 56% off on the 30 pack subscription so if you guys if you guys are content creators or you just have a lot to do or you're just stressed if you have problems if you just feel like you need to to to, to do stuff without freaking out that's the drink for you guys it <laughs> and you can tell that that wild is passionate about it because he he starts getting more energetic about it he, he starts yes. He, he does more with his hands. But yeah, I do get energetic because I am very passionate about the product and great. it's something that works and it works great. When I have, when I have every one of the people who tried it in my, in my crew, in the Nerds New Sexy crew, say it works and they love it, that, that tells me something. You know what I mean? It is a good product. So there you have it. The and in Plants vs. Zombies. Huh? That was a game you were into. Was Plants vs. Zombies for a while? For a little while, yeah. I know that. I know that I you enjoyed it. that. I I wasn't a fan of it, but I know it got big, and I know this. I know Grizzly loved it for a little bit. Yeah. Because he was like, "Get it for your phone, Wild. We could play together." And I'm like, "That's a dumb game. I don't like mobile games, Grizzly." He's like, "Well, I don't have a PlayStation yet, so we're gonna play on something." I'm like, "Well, shit. Too bad." A tough titty said the kitty. When we were working together, yeah. When we we're when we were at the uh, I when we we're at the haunted mall. Yeah. It was back when I had uh uh iPhone three G S two thousand thirteen. Talk like uh two thousand nine. <laughs> yeah, it was like two thousand nine, two thousand eight. It was around there. No, I started in two thousand nine. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. We did in 2009. Cheers. Remember, remember what we were saying? I was saying the youth. Yeah. Wait, not youth if I'm in my early, early, almost later 30s. Oh, almost later 30s. Yeah, that's you're still young, you fuckface. You your 30s. You're still a baby, dude. Yeah, I'm 33. You just started your you 30s. You just started your 30s. I just started my 40s, fuckface. Just you're about halfway there. Forty. I'm forty four, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> if, hey, if he's just started his thirties, I'm one year away from that. Fuck off. I'm about to start my forties. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. I hope you go great too, bitch. A I quick... When I started this, I was like 26, 27. Yeah. I started it when I was like thirty set six, thirty six around there. Mm -hmm. Um, doing the podcast, yeah. Yeah, because I came in season two. Mm-hmm. I came in like season five, six. Yeah, because I came in as a guest first. Well, so did Grizz. Yeah. yeah. Uh, one one episode in season one, and then it was just you and me for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I got hurt and had a ton of time on my hands. Well, let me ask you this, Monster. What do you think of your PlayStation Five? I know you had a little problems with it at first, but how's how's it treating you nowadays? No problem. I it, it's awesome. I'm digging it. I mean, I I love the dual sense edge, dual sense edge, yeah, dual sense edge. I don't remember the the new the new the new PS5 controller. That's all I'll call it. Yeah. Um, that, I'll I'll tell you that it has features that I didn't even know I needed as I was playing it. I noticed that when you hit the the triggers, it has pushback. Oh, nice. Like and like if you hit something or yeah. It, it's 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 got it's got some realism to it, which is kind of cool. I'll give it that. Uh, I never when you do arrows. I I never I never knew I needed that. Like it, it's a kind of a cool it's kind of a cool addition. Hmm. Um, Racing games too. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, but I don't. We we've already discussed 
how much racing games are fun. I like much, Gran Turismo. Much to Please. much to uh, Shattered Blade's dismay, he didn't like that I said that I didn't care for racing games. There's two two racing games I play. I would ever play Burnout <laughs> for obvious reasons. You crash cars. <laughs> And two Gran Turismo. I, uh, I like Gran Turismo. The only racing game I've ever cared for is the racing in GTA. Yeah, and I don't that's, like playing against that's, you. Anymore. That's like demolition <laughs> racing. But it's fun. It's a fun <laughs> game. That's that's like downsized yeah. twisted metal. Yeah, yeah, but it's still <laughs> fun. I mean, how many times have we gotten bored and just like went around that one specific track at the uh, airport? Like yeah, we do, we do like twelve. Get that five grand. We do like twelve laps just to fucking get that five grand. Yeah, that shit yeah, was funny. Twice before I ever do one lap. Or we do the uh, or we do the the well, the one that Grizz hated the most was the uh, the Mario Kart version where we could pick up like <laughs> rockets and stuff, and yeah. then like because Grizz would get demolished, <laughs> we'd be we'd be like four laps ahead of him. And of course, you know Mario Kart. Now that I now that yeah. I mentioned Mario Kart, but uh, but it's not really racing. Yeah. It is to me. You're making a left turn. You're making another left turn. I miss the old Need for Speed on the PS2. Oh, oh yeah, Need for Speed Carbon. Need with the drifting and then the uh, nah. drag racing. The drag I'll tell you the ones the the only real racing games that I can get into are uh like arcade racing games where you're actually sitting in the seat okay, that's yeah you like know when we were in oregon yeah like when we were doing that which by the way let's 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 end this podcast talking about that place oh fuck yeah wait one second i got you <laughs> there that's the, that's the name of it next level i got the hat i got a hat too but it's in yeah. my truck hey, next level is in is in um it's in oregon it's close yeah. to it's close to Portland, and yes. uh, like I can't twenty minutes. Away. Yeah, I can't tell you exactly where it was, but me, uh, Monster, and uh, our buddy Rico went there, and uh, more or less oh. for twenty bucks a person, mm-hmm. uh, we got to go in and play any game we wanted for, with the exception of like this one special room that you had to pay to yeah. pay to pay to play. I think you could win money with those. That's why. yeah. So. You uh, you can go in there and just play whatever. And fortunately, we had to do something that day, so we only spent maybe what an hour, hour, hour and a half, hour and a half playing games, and uh, that it uh, it, it kind of sucked, but it, we still had a blast. Like we, we were playing all day there. And- oh, dude, we we could stay all day there and still not play everything, anything, like everything. Mm-hmm. We uh, there was and this you'll get this, you'll like this, Grizz. There were a shit ton of pin. There's a root, like a whole hallway, like a whole huge hall dedicated yeah. to pinball machines. Oh, yes. oh, 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 yeah. And they just had all, and all free play, all free play. Yeah. And we, we, me, Rico, and Monsters sat and played shit. Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Thank you. We played Mario Kart. We played like two things a Mario Kart, and we had a blast. Mm-hmm. It was so the fun. Behind us waiting. Yeah. Still playing. And then we played, uh, then we played Mortal Kombat. They had all the Mortal Kombat yeah. games. They had all, all, all of them. Just any type of fighting game. They had a lot of Neo Geo games. They had a lot. Just any game you could think of. Even like the old Nintendo games, like Hogan's Alley with oh, a gun. Yeah. And it, just about anything. They had Duck Hunt. Oh, yeah. Just and you just walk up to these games, dude. And you just fucking hit the play button and you played. We played uh, Ninja Turtles at one point. Oh yeah. yes. We well we all all well, three of us played the Ninja Turtle game and we just played and played and it was fucking amazing, dude. We were talking about we ended up spending a lot of money there. Me and me and Monster were talking about doing a podcast or maybe like a review on this, and yeah. we never really got to do it because we did a lot of really cool things uh, when we were when we went to Portland. And uh, yeah, next time we go, next time we get a chance, uh, me Monster mm-hmm. and Grizz have to go because it was it was a really really cool place for 20 bucks all the games you can play yeah. if you are so inclined to call us and give us whatever bit of information you wish to give us there is a number that you can call and leave us a message yeah tell us your bank account number don't do that <laughs> <laughs> but give us a call let us know about podcast ideas 
things you want us to watch, things you want us to eat, things you want us to review. Do a podcast on. Things you want us to play. Just give us a call. And that number is 559-997-6803. Again, that number is 559-997-6803. Or join us on our Discord at Nerds the New Sexy Entertainment. You can follow us on Facebook at Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment. You can follow us on YouTube at Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment or Twitch. I'm seeing a trend here. In, in case you, you haven't realized and gone through this entire podcast not knowing who we are, we are Nerd is the New Sexy Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> not to be confused with the angry video game nerd. We are angry, but we're not that. Yeah. We're not James Rolfe. He's not as pretty as I am. <laughs> but all right guys with that said and done we hope you enjoyed the podcast we hope you had as much fun as we had doing this till next week we'll see you stay nerdy stay sexy always